nice as a new one, and uh, welcome back to crew career above and beyond. And as you can see, I'm joined by Tim. Hello. So just picking up where we uh, last left off, really. Yeah. Where the where the heck that was? Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm working on that, uh, third saw. Okay. So we can expand that tree farm a little bit. Push you over. Well, that's one pig successfully on the animal farm. I'm just going to grab some. Uh, excellent. I'm just grabbing some animals first so we can obviously breed them for food as well. As I'm going to have to try and find some cows as well for uh, leather purposes. Yep. Two pigs. Uh, you got me? We have two pigs. Sweet. I will have to go down in the mine as well and uh, carry on what I was doing down there. But right now. Yeah, I wish we had that uh, mod that allowed us to pick up chests so you could play shift right clicking. Oh, yeah. That was handy. Because um, I got to move this chest out by one here. Hmm. Mr. Sheep. Extend these back a bit, but I can sort that. Um, I've that was it. Played a little bit, uh, a little bit of call keeper. 
I'm still. Oh, how'd that go? Mm, so so. Still sort of scratching my head over it. Mm -hmm. It's not bad. It's just getting used to. Used to it and used to how things are done. But. Sure. Yeah, it doesn't really, or sort of does hold your hand, but doesn't hold your hand in a way, mm -hmm. to begin with, so it's like, mm, just got to figure stuff out. Yeah. Relative, relatively simple sort of interface to get used to, it's just getting used to all the crafting mechanics and... Sure. Uh, how that manages. Um, <clears throat> okay, that's two sheep. Uh, and I've also... One game that I wasn't too sure about, but then now playing a little bit, it's definitely the game has been. I'm sure it was the Dark Souls creators, um, but I played a little bit of Elden Ring. Yeah, how is that? Interesting. Did you play any of the uh, Dark Souls games? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, see, I never got into the Dark Souls games. Um, and I and I can't really say, like, oh, I tried them and didn't like them. I'd never played any of them at any time. Hmm. Um, I've, I've seen people play them. Um, just never quite got into it myself. And um, so, and Elden Ring was interesting until I realized that it was by the same developers. And I was like, oh. Yeah. But at the same time, I'm like, I really don't know if I like those games or not. I've never given them a fair shake, so. Mm. But, yeah, it's kind of quite heavy at the beginning in terms of, like, character customization, but I kind of want to start again. Because mm -hmm. I kind of fucked up. With I'm not far into it. Yeah, I kind of screwed up. I chose the wrong sort of chose the wrong character. Whoops. Well, wrong class of character. It was sure. Um. Usually. The character in Dark Souls, like the assassin character, wasn't bad, but the uh, your starting character, sort of under like the assassin type class. Yeah, the weapon that you're given is like a piddly shield and a dagger and. But the first sort of boss encounter you come across, that's basically the whole point is, yeah, you get you, you do get your ass kicked on purpose. Right. Um, but... Yeah, it's it's interesting so far. Like I said, I might change my class, start getting change class, but um, if I was a little bit more invest, you know, if I was a bit more into it, then I probably wouldn't. Um, 
look at wanting to change the class, but because I'm not, it's mm -hmm. a case of, well, yeah. Sure. I also got a key for Smart Factory Tycoon, which I did a video on. Smart Factory Tycoon. Um, let's see. Nope. Not where I want to go. Um, Steam. I'm not sure if it's the guys behind the old workshop or whatever the hell it was called. Oh yeah, I don't, I don't think so. The art style here doesn't quite look mm. refined enough for them. So, because the developer is Turquoise, yeah, which did Toy Tinker Simulator, uh, right. Animal Animal Rescuer. Um, yeah, that seems. But the art styles. Yeah. yeah, the art style. I mean, the art style doesn't look bad. It just doesn't look quite as, quite as good as what I'd expect from the people that did that. Mm. But it's, it's not, uh, it's not bad. I mean, I probably will start again in the play in the playthrough of it mm. because the first look I did, it was you know, it was just a bit. I made a few mistakes, but mm. mistakes I probably can't. Hmm. Yeah, I see where you're saying that though. Yeah, they have a similar kind of like um like flow chart mechanism for yeah. like stuff together. I'm looking at the screenshots here. And um yeah, so it's that same kind of like workshop type of thing. Hmm. Interesting. But yeah. Like I say, I just think if I, obviously, with the first look, it was just a first look, so now I can, you know, start again and obviously learn from the slight mistakes that you make. It does give you a tutorial, but it's not a heavy tutorial. It just says, well, you need this machine to start off with and sort of recommends yeah. you but you can basically make your own choices. Choices are good. It's, it, like I say, it's not bad. It's just the only thing I probably would, I kind of would recommend is allow you to, if you've placed trees down for your sustainability, for your factory I wish I could you you know you could remove said trees again and mm, right or move them and stuff but other than that yeah it's interesting and only gets more complex because you start off with a certain plot of land you know a certain factory building to begin with but then later on you once you get the money you can start ex you know you, you can buy other land to expand that sure makes sense yeah which does seem a lot like that other game yeah But even though it has, you know, it's gone into release, it just certain little things I think could be tweaked. The robots, obviously, that you have to do all the work. They seem to use, even though they've got the tier system of robots. Um, you know, it'd be nice if they the lower or zero starred robots were tweaked a little bit mm -hmm. just because they they just seem a bit like uh, t 
to like too crappy. Yeah. Uh, we got some pillagers wandering through somewhere. Yep. Shit. Okay. But they're just wandering through, so we have done a couple minutes. Well, that the only thing I need to find now. I've got pigs, sheep. I just need to find some cows, and I've got chickens. Got two chickens, two pigs, two sheep. Nice. So breed them up. Mm, I'm gonna get them breed. Well, I'm gonna get, get them. I'm gonna get them breeded. Um, but I just need to. Rice in the middle, carrots, potatoes, onions, tomatoes, your flax, and then your sugar cane as well. Um, <clears throat> what's in the cooking pot right now? Yeah. Some veggie soup. So we've got quite a bit of uh, veggie soup. Wait. Just need some more beetroot in there now to need some beetroot and some cabbages in there to be able to do some more. Okay, where the hell am I going to find cows? I mean, I've been across to the meadow, that's where I found the chickens. I wonder if there was cows around by that village. Alright, so I set up a storage drawer at the tree farm. Mm-hmm. Uh, um, I got it locked down. I upgraded it. Yeah. Um, so we can store up to 64 stacks of oak logs. Mm -hmm. So that seems like a decent amount of oak logs. Okay, why didn't the saw get... Did that thing just grow? That tree? Yeah. <laughs> that one? It's just gone... That was really delayed. Oh, uh, well, server server backup was going on, so it might have uh, caused a bit of But it's still uh, taking, obviously, saplings out of the system, I guess. I'm guessing. Yeah. Yeah, but, it'll, but it always has saplings to replant with. Yeah. So. Okay. Because, I mean, you don't want the internal system getting jammed up with saplings anyway. No, Those need true. To be somewhere. Um... Well, any spare saplings can always be um, put into bone meal if we need it. If we don't need them, some of them can go to, into the composter for bone meal. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, we're definitely going to get plenty of saplings. I mean, we already got a couple stacks worth of saplings. Yeah. We got uh, 11 stacks of oak logs at the moment. Twelve apples. That's not bad. Uh, nearly two stacks of sticks. So I just took a stack of sticks. So so we get materials pretty good. I'm glad it's only just the four items, so that kind of simplifies things. Yeah. Um. All right. So put that there. That's that, right? Because we need. Oh, it's donkey. Fair enough. That, and then we melt that. And then we'll need one more thread. Plus, with cows as well, I can get milk and I can create other food items. Yeah. That goes there, this goes there, and then I just need the five. And leather, and I can make myself a backpack finally. 
So now we can put pockets on the backpack as well mm. to further upgrade it. Yeah, I think I remember you saying about that. Because there's uh, tiny, medium, and large um, pockets. So, oh, sweet. Reward. Okay, upgrade templates. Nice. Five of those. I'll take those. Sweet. As I have been to this village. All right, so five of that. Throw that there. Backpack. Boop. It's kind of annoying that there was no... You know when you want an animal and there isn't that animal type spawning? It's really annoying. Yeah. I think I've, we had this, seemed to have this problem last time. We can grab the other animals easy, but then when it comes to the cows, they're the ones that are always a little bit more. Yeah, it always depends, but we have had um, trouble with cows before, yeah. Mm. All right, now i got to go into my controls. Oh, I found some cows. And I only brought the one lead. Should have done two. There's no point because I can't do two at the same time. Uh, there you are. Come on. Fair bit of that golden rod as well. Uh, on the meadow behind the original start village. Where we spawned. Mm -hmm. mm. Makes me wonder if the peacocks are going to be useful. Or not. Probably not. Why does my backpack button not work? Is it by, is, is there a conflict on the, the back of keybind? That's what I just fixed. Because there was B, the B key was being used for open satchel as well. Mm. And um, so I just disabled it from, from that. And open backpack is. And there doesn't seem to be any other conflict with that it's, key. And it's definitely in your backpack slot. Yeah. Hmm. That's so weird. Uh, let me try changing it to a different key. No, my backpack. My backpack is working. Yeah, I know yours is working. Hmm. That is indeed weird. Backpack slot. Weird. Okay, I was not expecting to have this kind of problem. Do you need to? Do a quick re log on to the server. Wouldn't I mean I'll try that as a last resort, but I don't know why that would matter. Yeah. Like I've never had that problem before. No, sure. Um That's occultism, that is... Oh. 
I finally got back with one of the cows. Come on, get in. In. Go that way. Yeah, might as well. You could just use some of the more clogs and make them pens a bit bigger, especially if we're going to breed them. Because obviously we'll want to keep two. if I can get another cow. Um, yeah, definitely playing Minecraft with shaders is... better. I mean, have you noticed, since your memory upgrade, have you noticed, like, when playing less hanging? Of course, you're not hosting the server, though, this time, are you? Yeah, but that's usually client side anyway. Hmm. Those little hitches. Yeah. So, yeah, I don't know. I mean, I haven't seen as much. I mean, but... um. But I don't know. My um, machine today doesn't seem to be quite as high. My frame rate doesn't seem to be quite as high today for some reason. I don't know why. Yeah. Hmm. Like it's still very playable, but it doesn't feel quite as smooth as it could be. Right. For some reason, I don't know why. And that's totally client side. Um, mm. So I don't know why that would be. Um, all right, well, let me disconnect and reconnect here. Still not working, I take it. Yeah, super dumb. Uh, I don't know why that's doing it. Because there's only, there's only two, there's only two keys using the B key, which was mm, the, the satchel. The, open, uh, the satchel thing. And I just deactivated the satchel. And then the uh, open backpack button shows white instead of orange to to note that nothing else is using that key and I hit B and nothing happens. So, so weird. Yeah, and now make a freaking liar out of me. Now it's working. That is so stupid. That's so dumb. I don't know why reconnecting would cause that to suddenly decide to work. But... Thank you for the <laughs> suggestion. So it works. Yeah, so weird. Mm. It's a little bit strange. But maybe the yeah. maybe it was just, I don't know, the memory, you know, a slight memory lockup or whatever. And sort of disconnecting from the servers just helped it free that little process up, maybe? I don't know. I don't know. I mean, it's, it must be a client-side uh, oddity. Because mm. uh, my guess is the one inherent difference, because I commented about the fact I've never had to do that before, I'm usually the host. Yeah. Yeah, you, so. you usually are the host. Yeah. Whereas I'm the horse this time. Yep. You have all the power. Good job. I have the power, but I don't. Don't use it. Mm. 
Mm. I mean, with you say that your computers look running a little bit sluggish. I mean, have you done your usual clean up and? Optimize? Well, usually, well, mm. it's usually it's probably just because I haven't done a reboot in a while. All right, because you obviously you leave your mm. computer on quite a lot then. Yeah. So, but like I said, it's quite playable, so I'm not too fussed about it. Yeah. It's not going like five frames a second. <laughs> um, That'd be bad. Well, that would be unplayable. Yeah, well, I mean, me and David have done. Me and David did. What did uh, I think it was Farm Sim we were playing? One of the older game, older versions. The Farm Sim, and we'd done something with a mod mm -hmm. on it, and I think we had that many potatoes because you get an absolute ton, mm -hmm. and it was a case of we got that many potatoes and crates of potatoes that we, I think, we dropped our game to like 10 frames a second. Whoops. And it was just like, yeah. So me and David were like, no, we've got to get rid of these. So once yeah. we'd got rid of them, the frame rate came back up. Obviously now, I think that was on console, so it was just like, yeah, no, let's get rid of But now we have no issue with farm sim on PC. So. Not until David decides to do something stupid. Which, right. thankfully, he hasn't done yet. Alright, get out of the way, cow. Come on. Stay there. Stay. Stay. Alright, you coming in, cow? No, don't want the other. Girl. Get out of the way. Out. Mm. Stay there. You. Mm. You getting in? No. Through the gate. Okay, we now have two of main animals. Wait. Two pigs, two sheep, two chickens, two cows. So we're ready for the flood? Yeah. Sweet. Have we got any of... We've got them. We've got them. Just gonna... Remember how to all oh, right, so we're out. I mean, that should be enough for now. I'll get some more if I need some more. Yeah, I definitely need to give these guys a bit more room. I could bring it back down to the mine. Okay. Down there as well. And finish off my work. Yeah. Probably gonna have to make a um we're gonna have to make a tunnel at some point mm. to um 
from your bedrock location over to kind of where some production is going to be because we need to make the uh, andesite down on that level. Yeah. And um, then cart it up. Yeah, that was fine. Dude. And um, so, yeah, so I get to figure out exactly where that's going to be. Because kind of, the way it all comes together in the end is you end up needing... Um, like the end, re the end result is the kinetic um, mechanism. Yeah. Which doing the assembly needs two andesite alloy, the iron saw, and um, a slab. Hmm. So some sort of well, some sort of wood slab. So that's what the tree farm is about. But the, you got to run the logs from the tree farm through a series of saws to go from. Uh, the log to strip log to planks to slabs. Yeah. To get the slabs you need. Then the andesite is kind of a bit of a whole process because you need um, um let's see what is that high operations. So the andesite is um you have to do the andesite at bedrock which. I don't know. That that might be kind of a tricky thing to do until we can get some filtering. Um, because the problem is is uh, you do somewhat of cobble gen. You can automate it with using some uh, some drills, kind of a similar spinny thing like we have upstairs from the tree farm. Yeah. Um, but going between the water and lava blocks to kind of capture that um, <gasps> and mine it up. What did you find? How the fuck did he get in here? Skeleton was inside the house. The what? Skeleton? Yeah. That's weird. Have we lost light level? I'm guessing we might have. Might have. Yeah, skeleton was up in the top. Hmm. Gonna put a bit of extra lighting around. Just in case. Because I could hear it. I should have paid attention to the minimum. I could hear it and the next bit it, it was there. supposed to drop the fence. Mm. Right. So some spare fence pieces. Where's my axe in my backpack? Burnt to a crisp while fighting a skele skeleton. How'd you get burnt to a crisp? Because the skeleton was on the skeleton was on fire, and he shot a flaming arrow at me. That'll do it. Stupid skeleton. 
I'm gonna have to take some of these trees away, I think. Behind the farm. Big old deposit of gold. Nice. Second. Yeah, so I died on the 24th. If you press U, it tells you your death history. So it tells you exactly what date and what time you died. I have no player death history. Yeah, because you haven't died yet. <laughs> right. So I died on the 24th of the 3rd, and obviously... You play a name, dimension, and then your location of your death. And then I've just obviously just died. Now. Mm -hmm. Death two. Remove. What I am going to do is actually... Light up the animal pens. Because if I made them a little bit bigger, I don't want... Things to... I'm getting I'm gonna chop some of these trees down at the back as well. Do we have the hand cranking hmm? there, well there might not be an extra saw anymore. Fair enough. That's fine. If we haven't got them. Because, yeah, I think I used the saw towards the uh, tree farm. Oh, that's fine. You've got a bigger area now, so we can start. Yeah, we're gonna need some shears as well, probably at some point. Uh, there's some in the um, that sewing bench for the backpack. Yeah, oh, fair enough. Um, I 
if it's worth at some point making a tinker's sword. That might be worth a thing. Worth a... I do at some point. Mm -hmm. How far are you down? Um, my level eleven, but I'm off of my side cave, belunking. Oh right, okay. So that area where the um, where we found that first dungeon. Yeah. anything I find like the call or anything I'll end up All right. hold on I'll be right back yep That does make me happy. Oh. I'm back. Welcome back. Yeah, I literally just came back as you were saying. <laughs> wow, that... The game just had a complete weird moment there. As I went to mine... Not, as I, not Minecraft. <laughs> well, I've never noticed that before. It's let me pick up an entire higher block of random onium ore, but not... As I was mining out, this block just flew out like it had been mined out. Mm -hmm. I mean, were you... Did you pick it up as a block? It literally picked up as a block. Because so, I know sometimes the ra uh, that uh, random ore will... Like, you'll go to mine it and it'll just slide like it'll move yeah it did it moved on me and it's the first time i've ever seen it do that yeah but that's why i was asking did you pick it up as a block or did it just move it moved okay yeah that's a thing it does uh... Ooh, some more iron ore that'll make tim happy as well yep yeah i got 63 pieces of crushed iron ore so far nice and 15 gold, some nickel, some lead, got some lapis, couple of diamonds. Not bad. I got 10, 10 and 10. Sweet. At the minute. So I found a uh, lava lake too. Yeah, that'll be probably, maybe the one that's possibly, if it's a big one, it'll be probably close to where. No, I don't think so. Where where I wandered off to, I'm like kind of nowhere near where, ah, right, okay. so where the base is, so. You're nowhere near the tunnel one. Big 
fan of this uh, new new pick. Stone pick with the um, speed upgrade is better than the uh, the iron pick. That's some more uh, cinnabar. Some more redstone. Ton of cobblestone. For the repair kit, is it cobblestone or does it, or does it have to be just stone stone? Cobble. Okay. So, yeah, but you need it's a pattern plus cobble mm. to make uh, to make a repair kit. But. Um. But I mean, that's just wood. The patterns are just like planks and sticks. So, yeah. So it's still super, super cheap. Um, it wasn't that. It was just a for, obviously, just for a case of. Obviously, excess cobble. I found a, quite a lot of andesite, but I'm here also here in Lava Lake. Yeah, well that's that back. That's the tunnel sort of joining each other now. Excellent. Septech and a modern Septech that ended up giving us an absolute, used to give us massive ore deposits. Yeah. Yeah, Septech, the way they had their, because uh, they were using, uh, what was it? I forget the name of the mod now, but yeah, there was a mod that had ore deposits where we had to do the whole kind of like, um, like kind of like scanning yeah. for, for the deposits or whatever to find them below us and then um, and then you know once you did find them they were like big sized deposits which was cool I mean I, I mean I generally like that kind of I mean I, I, I do like that way of, of doing things but at the same time though like I don't know I'm always mixed because I, I do I do like kind of both ways like the way Sebtech did it was fun because it was different um, but at the same time, like, I do kind of enjoy 
like spelunking through caves and just being able to come across like you know ore deposits so like as i'm spelunking yeah you know That is true. Hmm. Some sapphire. Sapphire roll. Nice. I haven't seen any of that. I seem to do most of this sapphire. All I think is just has just been the stuff I've managed to find when say like mining and doing the tunnels that I've done. Right. Let's see. All right. I remember at first I didn't like the uh, echo audio on the cave, but. Oh, you didn't. I've got used to it now. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I kind of like it. It adds some atmosphere. Yeah. Uh, it's different. 